decide to record your screen and then share it with either your teacher or your peers. First, you're going to want to open your Google Chrome browser. And then at the top, you should see a little icon that looks like an orange arrow with a video camera in it. That is your, that's how you open Screencastify. So you want to click that. And the first time it may ask for you to authorize um, or say it's okay for Screencastify to use your camera and your microphone, make sure you click allow and or yes, whatever the option is. So that way Screencastify knows it's allowed to use your computer's um, camera and screen and also your microphone. Then you can choose how you want to record on Screencastify. You can record your entire desktop. So that's everything on your computer um, or you could just record just the browser tab. So if you know you are only going to be on one browser tab, like for me, I'm going to be looking at this Google Slides presentation and kind of reading my um, book I made in Google Slides out loud. Um, I know I can just use a, a browser tab. And that way what's nice is it doesn't show all of the other things. So it keeps it nice and clean and simple. So I'm going, or, if you can use desktop, if you think you're going to be switching between some different programs. So it's up to you how you want to use Greencastify. Once you're ready, you're going to click, or if you want, or sorry, or if you want to use your webcam, you can also have it record your webcam. Um, I'm going to use it again to share my um, slide show. So I'm going to just choose desktop and I'm going to click record. And then it's actually gonna ask me one more question. It's gonna ask when you click with your desktop, do you wanna share your entire screen, so everything on there? Or do you wanna just share one program that you have? So I'm gonna actually just choose app for application window. I'm just going to choose that one program, my Google Slides. Um, so it's only going to show Google Chrome browser. So anything I do in Google Chrome will show up, but nothing else. So again, it keeps it a little bit nicer and cleaner. Once I'm ready, I'm going to click share. And then it'll count you down, three, two, one. Then now my Screencastify is recording everything I do on my computer. So if I want to show this book, right, I want to print, maybe I want to um, go through my book and share it with everyone. I might click it. Um, I'm gonna make sure I'm ready to share right before I start recording. And then I might read it aloud. So I'll go to my first page, right? The title of it is The Hunt for the Perfect Spot. Then I'll click my next page. The Magical Door Awakens, off to begin our journey. And so the hunt begins, too short, too tall, ouch, prickles. And I'll keep reading my story until I'm done. And then when I'm finished my pre with my recording and I'm all done, down here at the bottom, I'm going to click the pause button. Also, if you, maybe you need, you realize you need to stop and get a drink or cough, or maybe there's something making noise in the background, you have a dog that's barking, you can always click pause and then click play to resume or keep recording. But if you click pause and you know you're done, you can click stop to end your recording and you'll have another tab pop open. So Springcastify What's nice with Screencastify is it automatically talks to your Google Drive. So it's super easy to share anything that you make with it. So now you can see it has my video open. It's actually already starting to play it. I'm gonna pause that. Um, and I can also title it. So up here, I'm gonna retitle this, The Hunt for the Perfect Spot. And I'm gonna call it Read Aloud, just so that way I know the difference between my reading of my story and the actual file of my story on my drive. It just makes it a little easier for me. So that lets me get ready um, to share it. And then I wanna make sure that I can get a link to share maybe on Seesaw or in Google Classroom. To get that, I'm just going to click get shareable link up here at the top. It automatically makes it so that link is shareable. You don't even have to go into your sharing settings. So now I can click copy and I can go to my Seesaw Classroom or my Google Classroom and paste that link to turn it into my teachers or to share it with my friends. If you actually want to download your recording onto your computer, you can do that as well. So you can come here to download and you can click the download button and it'll save the file onto your computer. 
So there are a couple ways, and then from there, maybe you want to share it by uploading the video somewhere else. You can do that as well. But the easiest way to share is to just share the link because the video is in your Google Drive. So anyone that has the link will be able to then watch it. So that's how you use Screencastify. Um, it's a great program to be able to um, also show your thinking if you're working on a problem um, and you want to be able to explain your thinking to your teacher or your peers or to do a virtual presentation.